Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome to a uh, small update, but still an update nonetheless on the Ancient Empires campaign. Uh, December 27th, I have not been trolling, by the way, uh, Total War Center, like I kind of usually do for the Ancient Empire stuff, so I missed this update, or else you would have seen this a lot earlier than you are now. But UM Centurion on the 27th gave us an update on the settlement and battle map previews. Um, so what they're trying to do is they're trying to port all of the Rome 2 settlements and their battle maps over into Attila. Now, normally that would seem like a pretty, well, I won't say simple because I have no idea how that works. But um, what they're trying to do is they, what they're having to do now, they're getting some major roadblocks. And of course, Attila has is renowned for its lack of modability. And so just the fact that they're able to do what they're doing right now is pretty pretty good enough, but they're hoping to get even further. So all of the minor settlements, uh, for except for uh, the Egyptians, have been ported over. So what they're going to do and what they're having to do at the moment is they're basically taking the exact layouts of Rome or of Attila's regular settlements, generic settlements, not capital settlements or anything like that. Um, and replacing them with Rome 2 building models. And so what they're hoping with that is that battle mapping will stay the same. They're hoping that escalation, the battle, the city escalation in terms of how ruined it gets, won't be a huge issue. That's one thing they're trying to figure out. So there's not a whole lot that they can do, unfortunately. They're getting really roadblocked by the lack of modability in Attila, and that's really, really frustrating for me to read about, but I know it's immensely frustrating for the AE team. What they've got is really, really good. Um, like I said, they've got just generic settlements right now. Small settlements, not the provincial capitals. Rome, Carthage, Alexandria, those kind of cities are where they're struggling with. Excuse me. Um, and so that's what's really roadblocking them. Uh, Terry, which I guess it's CA's tool, uh, is really not good apparently and so that's causing a lot of frustration uh, where they're gonna go from the first release following up they have imported all building models from Rome 2 change the generic settlements maps for Rome Greek Persian and barbarian cultures and they will leave Attila's unique settlements with the same map just using Rome 2's building models they just have to do some escalation or final testing for escalation and pathfinding should be okay there will be a few errors here and there but that's just how it's gonna have to go uh, where they want to go and will go upon future releases they will import all Rome 2 maps and if this is where they would like to be and if custom settlement tools are fixed by CA and they will be able to use custom settlements all over the place now I don't mean that that means putting more settlements on the actual campaign map or what however Rome 2's maps will be imported fully once a resolution comes around to edit those appropriate files effectively so that's really really cool and what I should have mentioned is uh, the these pictures that I've downloaded and put up on the video because they're really really cool they look amazing now you have to remember this is Attila's layout completely and totally but they have imported Rome 2's building models and I think it looks amazing and I'm really really hoping that once they get that shown once they get that working that they might give me access to it um, yeah shout out a uh, Patilius maybe once they get those bugs fixed and I could show you some maps before it comes out and really be able to do some battles with that setting it would be amazing uh, so Patilius I really hope you're watching this because that's what I would like to do if you give that to me that'd be absolutely amazing so that's a small update but it's still a big update nonetheless because they're able they're making good progress this was a really good article to show off because it shows that they're not just sitting there doing nothing which I know they haven't, but a lot of people kind of think that they have. It's kind of been where they've been at in terms of uh, that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this. The, the, uh, the pictures look amazing. And again, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get access to them and really show them off in a video or two. That would be really cool. So um, if you definitely would love to see that, put it in the comments down below because I know it would help. Um, 
the modders to be like, hey, they really want to see this, so we should give it to them. <laughs> but yes, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Be on the lookout for more Ancient Empires content in terms of the campaign once I get more information on it. And if you guys see articles related to that uh, that I haven't done a video on, make sure you send it to me so that way I can do so. Uh, other than that, guys, this is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!